So the Gear VR has been out for a little bit now, and it was actually a pre-order bonus with every Galaxy S7. So guaranteed, this thing is in the hands of a lot of people. Now, one of my Twitter, Twitter roar, one of my Twitter followers and YouTube subscribers, Jeremy Judkins, ironically, commented and asked me how I recorded my Gear VR video in my roller coaster reaction video, which if you haven't seen it, here's a clip. Yeah, so you should definitely watch that if you haven't. So I'll link to that video below. It's a very good question, how to record Gear VR video, because it's not as simple as like recording a computer screen or even recording your cell phone because it's like in this device and you know, how the heck do you get to it? But it's actually pretty simple. It's not as simple as, you know, recording your phone or recording your desktop. It's kind of like a combination of the two. So let me show what you need. So first of all, let me take my phone out of the Gear VR. We'll start from scratch. I'll pretend you don't know a single thing. And of course, in the description below, I'll put the links to my website, which I will have the links to everything you need for this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is download Sender for Galaxy from the Play Store. This is the program that will send the screen from this phone to your computer. And then you want to download the receiver, which is called Mirror Op Receiver. So basically now, as you can see, having the sender on my phone and then the receiver on the computer, they're both on the same network, so it allows it to do that. So as you can see right there, behind me, you know, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. I can even make it full screen like that. It takes a second, but it moves. And it will even, you know, work with the camera. It works when you move it sideways like this. It updates pretty quickly. And it's pretty responsive. Hi! So yeah, so we're gonna use this method for recording Gear VR videos. Okay, and basically how you record what you're seeing here that's showing up on your computer is use any any screen recorder. There's a billion out there. I just use Bandicam because I like it. You know, Fraps is another good option a lot of people use. So, and when you're recording your phone or anything, just keep it like in the standard resolution. If you make it too big, it's gonna just look kind of stretched out. And for the purpose I'm using it, we don't really need it super big resolution. We just need it, you know, decent. So, what I'm gonna do on Bandicam is do size and then find window. So it found the window that is recording. So basically I'm gonna hit record and now it's recording everything I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna do it full screen just for the sake of y'all seeing it better. But like I said, it's probably better to record in a lower resolution for better quality. Okay, so now that we have this working, it's recording, it's sending, we're gonna pop our phone into our VR like we would for any other normal you know, activity. And the VR has a sensor in it, so you have to have, your he you have, to have it on your head or it won't show up right there. And if you wanna just like kind of test to see, check if it's working, if you take it off slightly, it still think it thinks it's on your head, on your eyes. So you can see. So, yep, safety warning. Ow, this thing's pulling my hair. So we'll pull up Ocean Rift just to test it out. And again, you can always look, take it off your head and see if it's working. And yeah, the quality is a lot worse when it's blown up like this, but Again, just so you can see the you know the big picture. So I'm gonna pick you know something. Great white sharks. So like this, I could be making a video like my reaction to swimming with great white sharks. You know, gaming let's plays is a big thing on YouTube, and now that 
you have the ability to record your reaction to a virtual game, it's the reaction is much better because it's you're more immersed. <laughs> like, look, there's a shark behind me. It probably would have scared me if I hadn't played this before. But yeah, this is really crazy. Like, this is definitely something you need to experience in real life. But it's really cool to record your reaction and then have people see what you're seeing right there. But that's not all of it. That's This is only part of it. So we're done with this. And we are done recording but we need to make that video look good to go along with this and you you may be noticing why like I'm sitting right here I'm not sitting dead center in the frame because I want this space to be used like this needs to be useful space so first we need to stop recording and exit out, out of all this My video editor of choice is Adobe Premiere Elements 14. It works good enough for me and it has like a timeline and you can do split screen, picture on picture, everything like that, everything that's required of this. So we want to, what we want to do is basically pick, You want to add two videos. One video is of you reacting, so basically the footage of being recorded. And then you need the footage that you recorded from your uh, Gear VR. So the footage that I'm pulling over, one is a previous video of mine, but you kind of get the picture. So you can kind of see. Like I'm talking right here. So basically pretend this is me with my VR headset. Now we're going to drop the recorded footage on top of it. And I'm going to get rid of the audio. Go to the footage that you recorded, so like here, edit out the other stuff, and now, depending on your editor, we basically want to shrink this down and only have one of the eyepieces showing up because with the VR, you basically see twice to make it 3D, but when you're putting that on YouTube, you only need to show it once. So what I do is just drag it over like this. And I try to kind of line it up and cover my computer. Um, so we'll make it a little bit bigger. And move it like that. So that's perfect. And I'm going to get rid of this audio just for the sake of it. So now when we play it, you want to sync up your reaction to what you're seeing. So like a trick you could do, you could like give a verbal cue to yourself. You could say like shark. And when you say shark, you know to line up that audio with the time you see a shark icon so you know where to cut it. Because you have to make sure that the footage on this, on your Gear VR is matching what you're saying or it's not gonna make sense. You know, you have to be reacting to the exact second of what you see there. And once again, you know, this side is a totally unrelated video, but this is like the best way to just kind of show you how I edit it. And that's it there. You know, of course, there's the normal, you know, exporting and everything. But this is just a general idea of how you um, download the programs to send your phone to your computer, record it, then get that recording and put it into something useful. Because once again, if you just record the VR, you know, like this, no one's really gonna wanna watch that on YouTube because for one, it just looks weird and people, you know, want a personality and 
I'm not the most exciting person in the world, but it's kind of cool to see your reaction with the device on to what you're actually seeing. And that will entice people to, you know, try it for themselves. And I always remind people with VR that you have to try it for yourself. And hopefully your reaction really kind of entices them to do so. And that's really it there. Once again, thanks to Jeremy Judkins for asking this question. His links are down below. Check him out. He ironically does YouTube videos as well. And it looks like I, t I stole his uh, name on Twitter, so sorry about it. You should have got it sooner. Anyway, guys, that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.